Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Curly K Glam, and all I want to say is wear your mask, sis. Anyway, now that that's over, I just want to say, y'all, <laughs> this is a mini rant. I'm coming to you as a fan and avid TV watcher. So, you know, as time is going by, I have been trying my hardest to get through girlfriends. And it's finally gotten to a point where it's semi-palatable for me. So, <laughs> um, I'm halfway through the series, meaning I'm in season four right now. And so, I'm going to come to you with a part two video for girlfriends, obviously, because I'm watching these shows as an adult. And... I remember Girlfriends being out. I did watch Girlfriends here and there, but I didn't have any connections to the show. I didn't have any, like, I was connected to Moesha. I was connected to the Parkers. I was connected to Sister Sister. I was connected to the game. Um, I was connected to Living Single. But, you know, now I'm coming to you halfway through Girlfriends. And this is just going to be a mini rant. This video is not going to be too long. I just wanted to give some things that I noticed. And I want to share some frustrations with you. Um, this, is, this, is, this is a disclaimer. I know that none of the characters on the show are real. Um, they're just characters. This is just TV. But this is just me coming to you as a TV watcher and a fan. Um, coming to you for some things I noticed like on the show. Okay, so first of all... Of course, we got to start with the friends, Maya, Lynn, Joan, Tony, William. Um, of course, you know, Tony is a real estate agent. Maya is um, Joan's secretary, and she plays some of William's secretary. Lynn is the free spirit, and T uh, Tony, Maya, Lynn, Joan is the lawyer. William is a lawyer. So... Um, just to go to the rundown, William has broke up, broken up with Yvonne. He has broken up with Monica. He has had a full-fledged office affair with um, the new person who came in, who he was supposed to be completing to be senior partner at the firm with Joan. Him and Joan both got beat out by a lady from out of state. So there's another black lawyer at the firm. Um, Maya and Darnell have divorced. Um, Darnell is now dating Lena and now they're trying to co-parent with Jabari. Um, Tony is now married to Todd Garrett, who is a, um, plastic surgeon in the California, LA area. Um, Lynn has broken up with the Jamaican guy and the poet. And now she has just married William and nobody knows that her and William are married. And Joan just broke up with Brock because Brock didn't want to have kids. And she just and she just dumped Ellis, who was Brock's client. And she broke up with Sean. Who else did Joan break up with? Charles. Like Joan has had okay. So this rant is more so about Joan, possibly Tony. And then Maya and Lynn may, may get the residuals of this frustration and questioning. Okay, so at this point in season four, I don't know what episode I'm on. I'm, I just finished the Christmas episode in season four. And William and Lynn got married. William gave his... um. I don't want to say the word on YouTube. He gave his, he donated to his sister and his sister's wife for didn't have a baby. So now he got the nephew son situation. Joan, I just don't know what Joan want. Can somebody just please explain to me? I mean, I know I got to finish watching the show, but what does Jones, what does Joan want at 31 and 32 years old? What does Joan want? Cause I feel like I'm in Jones age range i'm 28 so i'm trying to figure out what exactly <laughs> it is joan wants like i'm 28 i'm married tony's married maya got married young and so typically maya situation is for me that wouldn't be normal but for society maya situation is typical she got pregnant 
got married young and now she's divorced. She has a child. She's now a single mother. Um, and I don't mean anything by that, but you know, like for society, they got these standards of, um, of people who get married young. <sighs> anyway, and Lynn is just, I don't know what Lynn is doing. Like somebody please like Lynn got five degrees. Lynn is in all these dead. Lynn and parents, her daughter parents came and fussed her out. Like, Lynn is living with Maya currently. She living on the couch. Her and Maya is sharing the sofa bed. Maya is trying to come up. And Lynn is just not going anywhere. Like, Lynn gave up her corporate job, I think. Because she has it for, for the most part of season four. Lynn has not been at her corporate job at work. So, she's trying to make documentaries. Like, I just don't know. Like, how do you go to school five times and you don't know what you want to do? Like... I don't want to pay the student loans I got now. So I don't know how Lynn is going to school five times and got five degrees and don't have a job in one of them. Um, so far, Maya is my favorite. Maya is the realest out of the group. I mean, apart from her having that affair with stand because that was just stupid like her and darnell could have worked that out but like ugh, that was now that was dumb that was the only dumb thing i think maya did but as far as you know maya is trying to come on she's trying to do something william has somewhat of an agenda even though his dating life is trash he has somewhat of an agenda joan i don't know what joan want like joan got these unrealistic standards and i'm just like sis what are you doing like you just broke up with brock you just said this man was your enchanted love he was the love of your life and poor brock like took his heart that man was crying now malik yoba played that part because he looked like a man who was really into a woman and he was real emotional put all his feelings out there like ugh. jonah did all this for them to go to vegas for her to think they was getting married. Then she got her hopes up. Being stupid. Put herself. Throwed herself out there to the wolves. Brock was looking at her like she was crazy. Like all I said was we was going to Vegas. Who said we was getting married? I mean he didn't necessarily not paint the words correctly. But I mean he was trying to give Joan what she wanted. She said she wanted to spend some time together so they could get to know each other. But then one month she feel like they go get married. I just don't understand. Like I don't live by those terms. I ain't marrying nobody in no month. I ain't marrying nobody in two years. What did you say? Like no ma'am. I can see if we was like 35, 40. But you 32. Like I just, I'm glad in some aspects the world is progressing. Like, some stuff that's going on now be way extreme for me. It be a little too progressive. But with the the standards of women not being on a clock is good. Because, like, I just feel like that's what women, women get so caught up in wanting to be married and having a family. And nothing is wrong with that because... Like I said, I'm 28 and I'm married. And I've been married for two years going on three. But I got married when I felt complete as a woman. Like, I made sure I won't. I, of course, you're not going to have everything you want to be done before you get married as a woman. But I made sure there were certain parts in my life where I was satisfied as a woman. I did not go into my marriage with no resentments i wanted to have i want to have accomplished some things and i understand joan has accomplished some things and now she feel like in life but the way she got this just like this order like she feel like she gotta meet and a lot of times women not saying that i know everything and not saying i got it all figured out at 28 but for the most part like she she is not whole like she's not whole as a woman Tony deadly and I don't know what in the world Tony has done, but now she has she has dragged poor Todd down. Like now I know finances is an important part of marriage. 
$750,000 worth of debt. She should have got to know Todd a little bit more. Like, since you got to know what you're getting yourself into, you just can't be like, oh, I'm going to marry me a doctor. And then I'm going I'm to marry a man with money. You don't know what debt and what situation. I mean, it's a lot of people out here rich that ain't got no money. Like, <laughs> They out here whole million as we see it every day, especially right now during the pandemic. We got all these people that are celebrities, they famous, they balling or portraying to be balling on Instagram. And since they out here struggling, trying to get every piece of coin they can right now, like, and they supposed to be rich, living these lavish high lifestyles, driving these lavish cars, driving, like having this lavish house, that all this jewelry, and broke girl just be broke and then like tony tony is when sis went and bought that birkin bag y'all that nine thousand dollar bag then she went back and got that seventeen thousand dollar bag and all i could think about was that recent conversation with that birkin bag them girls talking about these birkin bags i'm just like there will be i don't care how much money i get there will never be a time where I'm spending $9,000, $17,000. Like they said, Cardi B spent $88,000 on a bag. It's just not, it's, it's not going to happen. Like priorities, like it's messed all the way up. First of all, let me just get like $500,000 and I can pay off my car, me and my husband's student loans, find us a house. Like girl, no. <laughs> $9,000 on a Birkin bag, girl, bye. And it's, first of all, it's no need to be having a $9,000 purse when you ain't got $9,000 in it, Tony. And Tony talking about, I'm finna go sell all these houses to all these poor people so I can make money. Girl, bye. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I know these is characters, but I'm just saying, like, the situation was janky. Like, I was just like, ain't no way. Now, I do also feel Maya, because Maya be pulling cards until, you know, she got red one time. She deserved it, though. Like, the few... No, she got red about two, three times. But she deserved it, and, and what they said to her was true. But as far as the friendship between Tony and Joan, and T Joan being jealous and not being able to be happy for Tony, oh, my God. I'm not saying they're not friends, but it it be like that. Like, people be getting married and friendships fall apart. They just fall apart. And, and it's happened to multiple people that I know. And it's just, I don't know. Like, man, teenager, like, when you're going through your teens, you're getting ready to go to college, if you go to college or into the workforce. You get in your you get in your bearings. You tr you get in your wings so you can learn how to fly. You know what I'm saying. Then after you graduate college, like 22, 23, 24, I still don't consider that grown. I know legally you are grown, but it's still a lot of maturation that happens from 23 to 30. And like I just feel like if this show so far hasn't taught me anything. It's just to take your time in life seriously. Like, I know I done been loud and boisterous this whole video, but, like, just take your time in life. Like, things happen on your own time. Don't feel pressure, especially when we don't feel pressure to get married and have the white picket fence and have the kids because all that will come in time. Because anytime, as, like, as humans, we should know, like, anytime you do anything that's not in order and is out of time, like, it, you you struggle. So, that's why, like, when they say God's timing is perfect, God's timing is legit perfect. It, his clock is way better than any set of time we got down here. And it's just no need to rush because you put yourself in these situations, like Tony, not knowing Todd enough. And then, you know, they come into this, this brand new marriage with $750,000 in debt. Like, I can't even imagine having that much debt. And then Joan having a career but she want the family aspect and so she's dating all these men trying to find her mr right instead of letting mr right find her ladies you always let mr right find you because in perfect time he will come especially if you have a desire to be married 
they say all women don't want to be married, but honestly, deep down, I think all women want to be married. All women want to have that dream wedding. All women want to want to have that family. And society is now trying to make it seem like there's something wrong being a wife and they want to be glorified girlfriends and fiancés forever. And that's not like, you know, ideal because then that puts you in a place to have to pick and choose and then you have to try to be a struggle of and be in these relationships and come and complacent because you don't want to, you know, start over. But just take your time because then if you take your time and you let Mr. Right come and it's the guy that God has for you, sis, and the life that God has for you, like, everything will just work out perfectly in the way it's supposed to. Trust me, I'm telling you, like, I know, like, there's nothing, again, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be married. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have a family. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have the white picket fence and working your dream job. What is that in my eye? Some coal. And working your dream job. But, y'all, just take your time. Take your time, ladies. Don't let society make you feel like you on a clock and that you got to have babies by a certain age because here I am pushing 28 and sis ain't ready to be a mother yet. Like, <laughs> I'm not. And I'm going to take my time because kids are precious. They don't ask to be here. And you have to be careful because when they grow up, while they're growing up, they're sponges. They soak up everything. They repeat everything. And that's not something you can, all babies are a blessing, but you can't give them back once they're here. And there's no need to put them in situations where the environment is going to be hostile. It's going to be drama. You can't provide for them or you feel less than after you get them because you cannot give them back. And they don't ask to be here. So they don't do, they don't deserve anything but the utmost for you to be able to give them your all and to be the parent that God created you to be. And that's all I have to say on that. I don't know what other life lessons I'm going to learn from seasons five through eight. But I'm going to come back to y'all <laughs> with the rest of my review after I finish. Because, sis, like, I did not know girlfriends was like this. I had a gist of the show for the most part. But, you know, some of this stuff, I'm just like, so that's how that happened? I mean, I knew it happened, but that's really how it happened? Okay okay <laughs> but yeah y'all follow me on instagram and twitter at curly k glam and like comment and subscribe and have have you watched girlfriend since it got on netflix tell me down below please what you think about this friendship and these characters girl because they off the chain right now like for real i'll be back with more videos though deuces